Man, that made her so upset. That made her so, man, I, I ended up sleeping with this girl a few weeks ago. After a whole year. <laughs> because she kept pursuing after that. Let's go, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, right, guys, and welcome back to another video. And today, we're here to talk about how to get any low interest girl to chase you. We're pulling up, you know, reverse car today. All right? Forget you chasing them. Forget you. We're going to get these low interest girls, these I'll let you knows, these can I get back with yous, these uh, I'm not sure girls to chase you. This is exactly what you need to do. Number one. Let her see you not bothered by being rejected. Guys, women, women test a lot. And when they're not sure about you, they test even more. So in, in, in my experience, what I'm seeing with girls is when a girl is not so sure about you, how you react to the rejection is everything she's looking for. She's more concerned about how you react to the rejection than actually rejecting you. She just wants to see how you react. Are you gonna get butt hurt? Are you gonna get upset? Are you gonna curse her out? Then you prove her right. So if you want any low interest girl to chase you, you need that rejection to be brushed off the shoulder. It, it, it doesn't even concern you. Oh, you rejected me? Oh yeah, okay, cool. She wants to see how you react to that. She wants to see if you're bothered by it. She wants to see if you really are in scarcity. Because if you are in scarcity, it's gonna bother you. You're gonna take it personally. But if you're in abundance, you couldn't care less. You know women is probably gonna be, you know, you talk to them some, they're not, they're not gonna like you. You talk to some, they're gonna like you. You ain't gonna be bothered by it. You couldn't care less. Like you or not like you, you don't care. That's showing her abundance. So a lot of women, when they reject you, they're really concerned about seeing how you react. Because a lot of you guys, you want, you want that girl to come back, right? You want that girl to say, hmm, maybe I made a mistake. She ain't going to think that if you start cursing her out, flipping her out. Oh, you this, 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 this. She, she going to be like, I was correct. <laughs> You're going to prove her correct. She's going to be like, yes, I know I made a good decision. That's why I rejected you because I knew you were not in abundance. I knew you were not a catch. Any of you guys that have had women that reject you come back, it's probably because you act like it didn't bother you. You act like you didn't care. So she started thinking to herself, maybe he has more going on in his life than I thought. Maybe he's higher value than I thought. I've had girls reject me, baddies. I'm talking about, I go up to them, they with it, you know what I'm saying? And guys, when I approach girls, I'm not approaching those seven to eight. No, 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 no. Let me just make this very clear. When FedEx Fields is approaching the girl, I'm only approaching the girl I see as a 9.5, 10. That's the only girls I'm approaching. Because at sevens and eights, I can get those just laying on my back. I'm just, okay, you like my picture, you wanna see me okay, you, 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 you DM me great. I can get sevens and eights, no issue. And when I'm approaching, it's gonna be nines and tens. Nines and tens, they're going to pay attention even more how you react because those girls are used to men bombarding them with attention. They're used to men flipping out when they tell them no. Oh, you ain't all that anyways. You ain't even that hot. You ain't this, you ain't this. They're used to men doing that. So if you want a low interest girl to come back to you, you need to act like, okay. This has happened to me so many times where a girl will tell me no, or a girl will play games. Like I, I get a number and then she starts like dry texting. I just withdraw i noticed they come even more give it give it some time they're going to be back because now they're like whoa i'm used to guys flipping out and either trying harder or getting upset at me you don't even care okay let me see what you're about let me see what you're about let me see what you got going on let me see let me see if i made a mistake All right so first things first if a girl rejects you if it's at the gym the grocery store okay no problem have a nice day move on with your life don't try to ask her why. Don't try to convince her to like you. Don't curse her out. Don't call her the B word. Don't tell her she ain't all that because you obviously thought she was all that when you approached her. So don't switch up your language now. Act like you're not bothered by it and move on. I guarantee you that girl was, if you notice, 
Girls who reject you pay attention to you even more. Crazy, huh? If you if you had if you ever at any gym or any public area and you re, and a girl tell you no and then you walk away, that girl is gonna be looking, paying attention to you even more now. Wanting to see how you react to that. Don't give her, don't prove her right. If a girl tells you no and you get upset, you flip out, you get angry, you proved her right. Prove her wrong by acting like you couldn't care less. Hey baby, I got girls that look better than you. I'm not tripping, have a nice day. Number two, give her FOMO by having experiences with other women. This is gonna be for girls who follow you on Instagram that rejected you or like whatever, or in your friend group or whatever. See guys, women are addicted to their emotions. Fear of loss, fear of missing out is a real thing for women. I think for women 10 times. <laughs> Women do not want to miss out on nothing. That's why they, they hit old guys up. They always go back to their exes. This is why they do always do this because they are, are terrified of missing out. So when a girl tells you no, and she's so that she's low interest, and then she sees you having fun with other people, living a social life, or she sees you around other women and other women like being around you, she starts second guessing everything. Oh, wait, 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 I made a mistake. He's actually higher value than I thought. So give her that FOMO by living the life of, of social abundance, all right? Dating other girls, not acting like you're bothered. And I guarantee you, she's gonna be like, whoa, I don't wanna miss out on this. I'm telling you guys, the one that happens to me the most is when women see me, I go out with my main chick, right? So the girls I date or the girls in my rotation, I go out with them every weekend, have a good time, do fun stuff. I'm at this place, the best experiences. And that make women sick. <laughs> All the girls. <laughs> I be like, man, I know what I'm doing, bro. I know what I'm doing. I, you want to tell me no, or you're not that interested in me, but they always watch. Like I told you, when a girl rejects you, she's going to watch you even more. Now she sees me having fun. Now she sees me having a good time. Now she sees me having experiences with the other women I'm talking to. She's like, whoa, I'm missing out on all of this. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Now she's gonna start, hey, how's it going? Or she's gonna start liking your pictures again, trying to encourage you to try again, all right? She's gonna try to encourage, oh, she got that formal now. Oh, she see what you're doing with your, with your girls. She see you going to this place, having this much fun, doing this, doing this. Now she having formal. That's how you get a girl with low interest to start second guessing herself and start chasing you. Number three, never initiate contact first ever again. Never initiate contact again. It should never be you. Once a girl has shown you that her level of interest is not that high, anything you do to pursue her is automatically gonna lower her attraction for you. If you want a low interest girl to chase you, you better not hit her up. She now has to do all the pursuing. You already showed me that you're not, that feeling, you're not feeling me that much. When you're not feeling me that much, I gotta pull back. I tell you guys all the time, only date women who like you. Only date women who are into you. These women are gonna make your life the easiest. So if a girl is low interest and you still wanna mess with her, you the worst you can do is try to pursue her more. No, 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 no. I'm gonna let you do all the work. Whenever you're ready, baby, I'm not sweating you. Whenever you wanna come back, <laughs> I'm not sweating you. I'm gonna give you guys another story. FedEx Fields love stories because I'm actually in these dating streets. So, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. There was this girl last year specifically that, you know, I was talking to her, another girl, but the other girl seemed more excited to see me, so I went with another girl. I flicked on the lower interest girl because she was lower interest. I only like dating girls who like me. So if I'm talking to girls, I'm setting plans with girls for a Thursday, the girl who seems the most excited to see me is always the girl I'm gonna go with. Always, I just like being around women that like me. That's just me. Maybe y'all have some kind of weird, you know, fetish for women that don't like y'all, but I like women who like me. So I flaked on a girl that was like, I'm not so sure. Man, that made her so upset. That made her so, man. I, I ended up sleeping with this girl a few weeks ago. After a whole year. <laughs> because she kept pursuing after that. Because she was not acting excited to see me, I said, okay, I'm gonna go with a girl that likes me. And once I flaked on her, it switched the whole dynamic. She like got upset that I flaked. And then like a few months went by, she reached out again. 
and they didn't go nowhere. And then she reached out again a couple weeks ago, and, and she came over and, and, gave me, and gave me that box. Because I didn't pursue at all. I said, hey, you were not excited to see me. I went with another option. So you got to do all the pursuing from now on. And because I didn't chase her, because she was acting low interest and I didn't go for it, that made her peak her interest in me. That piqued her interest. Think about it. If she was acting low interest and I was like, hey, hey, when can I see you? Hey, 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 hey. She would have pulled back even further. But because I said, you know what? You don't seem so sure. I'm going to do something else that set off a light bulb. Literally, in a year, she came back and gave me that box because I didn't try hard. Hey, if you don't like me that well, great. Take your time. I'm not going to do no pursuing. I'm not going to hit you up. Whenever you're ready, you got to do all the pursuing. You got to hit me up. You got to make yourself available. You got to you gotta damn near do everything. I'm sorry. When a girl shows me her level of interest is low, I'm not. I, this is That's where my journey ends. I am not initiating contact. I am not trying to see you. You, I got to make sure you, if, 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 this is how it is. When I meet a girl, I want her to like me more than I like her. That's high interest, right? Or we both have high interest and she's trying to make herself available. If a girl's not acting that excited to see me, I'm going to pull back. And when I pull back, you got to come all the way here. Because I, you already showed me that you don't like me. And I know women that don't like me that much are not going to be that submissive. They're not going to be that fun in bed. Those are the girls that not wanna, they're, they're not going to want to do anything extra for you in the bedroom. So I'm good. If you don't like me, I'm not sweating it. I already got chicks. And most times they're not, it forces that girl to do the pursuing and ch start chasing you. Number four, have a popping Instagram. Guys, IG is the new way. IG is the new way. Women care about your Instagram a lot. Women care what your image is. If you want a low interest woman to start chasing you, she gotta go see something that piques her interest. She can't go from low interest to high interest without nothing changing in between. There must be something that raises her interest a lot. And an Instagram will do that. Right? Our Instagram is literally your resume. <laughs> when a woman doesn't is not sure about you, she's basically saying, eh, I think I could do better. But when she sees that you're living the life of abundance, you're doing fun stuff, you're out in public living your life, you're having fun, you're taking high quality photos, she now has to reconsider. This is how you get low interest women to actually like you. When they have to see that, oh wow, I kind of made a mistake. I might have not been, you know, so into this guy when I first saw him, but he has a life that I want to be a part of. Instagram allows you to show women a life that they can be a part of. When a woman sees my Instagram, I'm in Paris, I'm in Spain, I'm in Italy, I, I take high quality photos, I'm in the gym, you know what I'm saying, I have followers. I bring more value to her life than some most men. Not some men, most men. Women want to catch. They want to. They want. They want a high value guy to come save them. So when a woman is not sure about you, but you have a popping Instagram, you 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 can literally change a lot of women's minds. She can't go from low interest, high interest, and there's nothing that spikes her interest. You gotta have something popping. You don't need a million followers. You don't need to be verified. All you need is high quality photos, traveling, and Keep updating your stories. A lot of you guys don't post nothing on your stories. You don't post no stories. You have no profile picture. You don't take no high quality photos and you want women to chase you. Make it make sense. Women want to catch. You got to be living a social life of abundance. Your stories you need to be doing fun stuff. Give them something to see. Give them a lifestyle that they want to be a part of. That's what Instagram allows you to do. Instagram will allow you to sleep with a lot of girls who might see you as a six or seven, but because you're doing so much stuff with your life, because you have a life they want to be a part of, it's intriguing to them to now want to pursue you. A woman can literally not be sure about you, see that you got some stuff going on on Instagram, and will now be intrigued, and will now go out her way to say hello. Does that make sense? And number five, forget she even exists. Guys, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, man. If a woman does not think you're all that from the jump, you're going to have to jump through hoops to keep her. I tell this to my students all the time. 
and to you guys. If you have to jump through hoops to get her, you will have to jump through hoops to keep her. If a woman is not sure about you, she's just not into you from the jump, you're gonna to have to maintain whatever piqued her interest forever because she was never really that sold on you to begin with. So, if a girl is not that sure about you, if a girl is low interest, forget about her. That time is better spent doing the self-improvement because the self-improvement will make you more confident, make you more attractive, which would allow you to attract more high interest women. So, instead of investing time and energy into a woman that does not really like you, spend that time into yourself. Become better looking, hit the gym, live a social life of abundance. That will make you more confident, which will allow you to attract more women that actually wanna be with you. Does that make sense? So, I don't want you to be so invested into raising the woman's interest that doesn't really like you to the point where you're forfeiting doing that on a self-improvement, which means you're not getting other women who like you. Each and every single one of you watching this video will prefer a woman to just like you. She's just feeling you. You just go up to her and she's with it from the jump. Instead of you having to jump through hoops and hoops and hoops to get her on a date. What I'm saying is that time you invest trying to get that girl who doesn't really like you to like you, you can spend that on a self-improvement which will directly make you more confident, which will make other women see you as attractive and give you more high interest women. So if a girl does not think you are that, forget she even exists. If she comes back, she comes back. If not, go oh well. You're gonna be spending that time doing the self-improvement, which will make you more attractive, which will make you more confident and you never have to worry about trying to convince low interest women again. That's the whole point about the self-improvement. Focus on yourself so other women see that confidence and now they want to be a part of your life from the jump. And that's it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Love you, boys.